Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sofia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> And today we are filming another weekly reading vlog. It's gonna be a bit of a different weekly reading vlog. I'm getting ready for Bookmas. Yes, this is also an announcement. I'm doing Bookmas. I'm gonna try to upload a bunch of content in December, so I hope you're looking forward to that. But as I was saying, this weekly reading vlog is gonna be a bit different because I'm gonna be reading Knit House by Lee Verdugo and I'm taking you along with me as I annotate this copy, telling you all of my thoughts. It's gonna be non-spoilery though, so don't worry if you haven't read it yet, but I'm gonna show you how I annotate the process, how I do it, while I do it, all about it. And that's all because of you, because of this comment that gave me the idea and I adored it and I was like, yes, I'm gonna do it with Nick House. So far, I am 30 pages into it. By the way, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm 30 pages into it and I stopped reading because I wanted to start this video on a new week, but, but I cannot wait to read it. I'm really excited. I was really enjoying it. Prologue was so weird. <laughs> I didn't understand a thing. But then I started writing on a post-it names and stuff that I wanted to know what they were. Like, who is this? And where is this? And what is this? And when this this happened? Just to get my mind a little bit into the story. But so far, chapter two, I understand a bit more. Chapter one kind of tells you a little bit more about our main character, Alex, and the society that she's in, which is a really weird one let me tell you. And also someone told me that at the back of the copy there is a master list with all the societies and what they do which was really really helpful. So the plans for the week is just finishing Knit House and today I want to make it to page 90 at least, maybe 100 if I can make it. I'm trying to read 100 pages every day. I've been super busy and reading is the one thing that takes my mind out of everything and I don't want to watch so many Netflix shows because when I'm working on my computer it's easy to have a Netflix show in the background but I don't want that. Um, I want to read more and I'm doing the same with audiobooks. I'm trying to change Netflix for audiobooks but it's hard, you know, it's hard. If you are not new here you know that I divide my books into little parts and I try to read one part each a day, so I'm gonna be doing that. Good morning, I am taking you with me to class, but first, I need to have a coffee. This is how we spent our library time, playing Animal Crossing instead of paying attention. This is Sarah. She's the, the, the friend that is reading Nate House. Yeah. Are you liking it? I'm liking it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm very slow. Sophia's faster. No. Definitely. I'm on page 50. <laughs> I'm on page 50, to be honest. And yeah. I started it like a month ago. I'm gonna catch up. So, so far, am I, I, I am annotating the second chapter and here is my post-it note with all the things, excuse my horrible handwriting, this is my post-it note with everything that I want to know, <laughs> more or less, that I still don't know. For example, this one was answered just now. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting a lot of green post-its right now because they are explaining a lot of things about uh, the secret societies and stuff. So, for example, I just wrote here that this is a place because I've seen it a few times, a few snarky comments, just some things, um, reasons why they choose her, some vocabulary, uh, explanation of what this word Lidi means. So, that's a little bit of what I'm annotating right now. I still need to get myself a ring light. It is a Thursday, it is Thanksgiving for a bunch of you, so happy Thanksgiving if you are watching this. Um, it's a bit late, but it's okay. It is currently 9 p.m. and I am so tired, you cannot even... I left my house at 9 a.m. so I've been 12 hours out of my home and I just arrived like two minutes ago. I need to update all of you on my ring. But yeah, it was a crazy day. Let me tell you about Knit House because I'm loving it. I'm officially invested. I'm on page 183, 
which is a bit behind my schedule. There are a few things that I found confusing about the book. The main girl, the main character, well, there's two main characters, but the main main character is called Alex Stern. And no one told me her name was Galaxy. So the other guy was calling her Galaxy and I'm like, is that a nickname that he gave her? And then it turns out she's actually called Galaxy, but she didn't like it. So she goes by Alex. So freaking confused. Why does everyone have like three different names in the whole book? Then you have Daniel Arlington, which his name is Daniel, but she calls her Darlington, which at the beginning of the book, I thought there were two different persons. I was like, are they related or something? The societies, what is going on? I don't know which one is who. Which one does like translation with this manuscript with this? I don't know. I'm just confused. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying the story so far and I can tell you what it is about. It's a really hard book to explain, but I'll say that our main character, Alex Stern, hasn't had the best life. And for some circumstances that we don't know at the beginning of the book, she is uh, brought to jail to study there and be part of this secret society that controls other secret societies and there's magic involved and basically she's chosen because she can see ghosts and normal people cannot see ghosts and that's the main reason why she becomes Dante which is this apprentice to take care of the other societies and then we follow and we met more people and we start discovering Alex's past and why she was chosen and the things that happened before the book started. It doesn't need to be that complicated to read a book but it adds to the writing like a lot. So I'm gonna get into my PJs, take my makeup off and read. Cause it's all, oh, I, I have to play Animal Crossing though. Cause it's, it's turkey day. I have to, I kind of have to. <laughs> Sophia with glasses here and no makeup. Bear my face with me. Cause I'm really, really sick. I did it or read anything. I'm currently on page. I'm on chapter 13, kind of midway through. The problem is, what I'm seeing with the book is that it's one of those books where you read a chapter and you're done with it. Like, my mind cannot continue reading. Like, my mind cannot keep up with the book. And even though I want to keep reading, I also think it's a book that you enjoy more when you read it, like, little by little. We get to know Alex's backstory by now. And I was really surprised about the death of it um i'm also really surprised at how the book tells you the events that happened prior to the book because it jumps from last fall to winter um so it's like jumping back and forth all the time it has a way of just hinting what happened but not actually telling you like something happened with this character and we still don't know what happened but we get to see like little gleams of what's going on what I want to do is tonight, I want to read and I'm gonna try to at least half of it. I wanna get to the good point where everyone's like, what? <laughs> I'm currently reading and I just read chapter 13 and it might be my favorite chapter from the whole book till the point that I'm reading. Uh, for the people that have read the book, it's the, it's the chapter where we get to know Arlington's backstory. I really adore Alex's backstory chapter, but Arlington, I was actually thinking about how she made me like Darlington, even if I only read a few chapters by him and the first few chapters that you read from his point of view you dislike him for how of a strong opinion she has to wear alex without actually knowing her like he's putting her in a box before even getting to know her i haven't read enough chapters for me to like this character why do i like him in chapter 13 and it's because you see him from alex's eyes because most of the things you have read about him is from Alex's perspective. That's really interesting, but also I think it's gonna come back to haunt me at the end. Maybe I'm super wrong because I don't know where this book is coming from. It's like one of the first thrillers that I have no idea what's going to happen. But just the fact that I fell in love with a character that I know so little about till chapter 13 makes me scared something's gonna happen with him and there was also this quote that i adored that says on page 230 they had made the mistake of teaching him he could survive love it i cried a little bit with his backstory not gonna lie and when his parents are like you have no idea what the world is like daniel you're still a child and i envy that 
I felt it in my heart. That's one of the sentences I hate the most when someone takes age and knowledge. It doesn't have to be connected. Like for a lot of things it does, but also the world keeps evolving. And I'm telling you, if you ever say that to your kid, stop it. Because your child knows more than you know. Good to you reading. <laughs> it is the next morning and I'm currently reading it's been a while since i read in the morning and it's making me really happy to start a day like this i wanted to say i will put another warning at the beginning of the video but please please read the trigger warnings because some of the uh, scenes in this book are quite heavy and also graphic like some of the stuff because it's not worth it reading it if you get triggered by these things so please keep that in mind that i will link down below if you want to check it out first before picking the book up please 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 i'm all places but um i i'm on page 316 i have this much left and i can tell that the second part of the book like the last half of the book is gonna be so much better than the first part everything is so quick we get action scenes i actually know like little alex secret now which oops that was my toast <laughs> i know now what happened to the characters i just i'm invested i cried because there's this part where she she's kind of given the chance to go back and change all her past and she says take me back make me into someone who has never been done harm go as far as you can make me brand new no bruises no scars also this one she was homesick for something maybe for someone she would never be i don't know how i feel about alex character though because we are meant to like her like the book is grinning in a way where you have to like alex some of the things she does i'm like a oh, go girl and others are like what are you doing so i guess that's the point of the character like being a little bit in the middle like gray area not really being gray because she's more towards a likable character so i'm gonna keep reading <laughs> i'm getting too deep into this but i'm really really into the book and i just wanted to show you how my thought process is while reading because when i film reading blogs i normally just tell you like oh i'm on page these and i'm really liking it but i don't really go into my thoughts on what i'm thinking when i'm reading so i thought this would be interesting and if it's not interesting i'm so sorry <laughs> but i'm having a blast reading this book wait what <laughs> what am i reading what <laughs> what is going on i mean i mean i kind of saw it coming Maybe not these, but the people involved quite. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go, Alex. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I think this is the plot twist that everyone was talking about. And it's. Oh, what? Oh my god. It was there the whole time. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> what? These are the longest 20 pages of my whole... <coughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Last page of the book. I don't know how to feel about it. a really cloudy day outside and this is the best lighting let's talk about nick house as you probably could tell on the video i really really liked it even if the first part of the book was a bit heavy and a bit hard to understand the second half of the book makes it worth it what did i thought about the ending lots of people think it ends on a cliffhanger i wouldn't call it cliffhanger because the events of the book are kind of tied together with the end of the story but just one 
one is left open but you feel closure my only problem with the ending was how fast it was when you get to the plot twist it didn't feel right it felt rushed yes i was surprised by the whole reveal but it didn't felt like enough felt like it was super fast that we could have gotten more for that kind of plot twist to me it wasn't satisfying i'm gonna give it a four star i think it also was a really entertaining reading experience. Uh, it was a long time since I read like, um, I don't want to say complicated, but intricate writing kind of story. It was super fun. I do want to continue the series. I hope the next book comes out soon. And if you haven't read The Nate House, I do really recommend it. Read the trigger warnings first and then pick up the book if it sounds like something you would enjoy. That's pretty much it for the weekly reading vlog. Let me know in the comments if you have read Neath House or if you are planning to read it. If you made it this far in the video, let's comment the snake emoji. I think it fits with the Neath House cover. I also wanted to say thank you so much for 3k. We hate 3k a few days ago i couldn't even believe it like my goal for this year was to hit 2k <laughs> can you believe that i am amazed thank you so much for the love and all the support that you always show me it just it's a lot i always say this but i want to give it back in some type of way so i really hope you like the video if you want to keep updated with my reads i have a good reads i also have a book Instagram where i post it daily i also have an etsy shop with a bunch of new bookish things in case you're looking for christmas presents thank you so much i love you guys <laughs> and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>